Welcome to Noteboom Podcasts. We are here to help you learn more about your Mac, iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. We do this by providing tips and lessons from NoteboomTutorials.com. Let's get started and take a look at this episode's tip or lesson. Now let's take a look at how we can separate a note out by floating it. This is going to separate the note out from the interface to the Notes app. Let's see how we do this. Let's go to my Mac. So let's say I want to separate this errands to run note. What I want to do is I just want to have it in a separate window. So I don't see all of this other information here, all of my other notes. I just want to focus on errands to run. I don't want to see my other notes. Well, what we need to do is we need to float it. To float it, we first have to select it. So I have it selected. And now what I do is I go up to window in the menu bar. And then I select float selected note. When I do this, it's going to separate that note out into a separate window. Let's go ahead and select this. And now we can see we have a separate window errands to run. So now let's go and place this up in the upper right hand corner. And I'm going to close all of my notes here. I click on the X. And now I can just focus on my errands to run note. So if you just want to focus on a particular note, all you have to do is just float it. Now we can take this a step further. Let's go and open up Safari and watch what happens. I'm going to open up Safari. And just as you'd expect, Safari covers my note. So now what I have to do is I have to click on the note to go back to it to edit it. What I would like to do is I would actually like to float this window here, Aaron's to run, on top of all of my other windows. To do that, we first select the window, so I have it selected. And now we go back up to window in the menu bar again. And now you're going to see we have float on top. When I do this, it's going to keep my notes window on top of all of my other windows. So let's go ahead and select this. And now when I click on Safari, you're going to see that my notes window is always on top. So what do you think is going to happen when I open up my calendar? Is it going to open behind or on top of my notes app? Well, let's find out. I click on it, and we can see that my notes app is on top of the calendar app. So if you want to keep your note on top of every other window, what we first have to do is separate it out. We float it out, and then we select float on top, and we do this through the window menu in the notes app. Now, how do we get it back? Let's say I no longer want to have it float on top, but I still want to have it separated out. Well, then what we do is we click on it to select it. And then we go up to Window, and I deselect Float on Top. So now the window will still be separate, but it will no longer float on top. If I go to Safari here, Safari will cover my note. When we are finished, all we have to do is just click on the red dot, and it will move it back over into all of my notes. So that's how we float a window. When we first select Float, it will just separate the note out. If we select float on top, after that, it'll place that note on top of all of our other windows. So our note is always accessible. So that's how we float our notes in the Notes app on the Mac. Well, I hope you found this episode helpful. If you did, you can find more by going to NoteboomTutorials.com. That's Noteboom. It's like notebook, but with an M, as in Mary. We have hundreds of lessons and tips available for you. Again, I hope you found this episode helpful, and I hope you have a great day. This is Dan, signing off.